Hi, everybody. I'm going to see some people joining for a little bit. Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining me again. Or if this is your first time, welcome for the first time. Hello, hello. So um, I'll just do a quick intro while people are joining. My name is Hannah Mae Crudis, and I am a dancer with Canada's Ballet Jorgen, and I'm here today to teach you a bit of a beginner level ballet class. Um, feel free to do what you feel comfortable doing. We're all doing this in our kitchens or bedrooms, so whatever you feel like doing, absolutely do. Um, I have my socks on so I don't slip in my, in my kitchen here. Um, so yeah, whatever you need to feel comfortable, let's do it. Also, if you are um, confused about arms or something, just you can either put them on your waist, you can keep them in first, whatever you need. Um, let's get started. I'm gonna turn off the um, comments and then uh, we'll get going. Okay, so, oh, I think my cat is in the background again today. That's Tugger, everybody. We're going to start with a warm up. So our warm-up is going to begin in sixth position and our arms will be on the bar in front of you. So I'm not going to use a bar today just so you can see my feet. All right, we're going to start with our right foot. We're going to lift and pop the toes lower all the way down. Lift again, pop the toes lower and down. Once more, two, three, four. You're going to touch your ankle in a coup de pied parallel, touch your knee in a passe parallel, down plie stretch. This is from one of my favorite warm ups during nutcracker time. So we have the other leg lift and point and lower, back down and lift once more and lower, back down. Again, three times all the way and touch and knee and down plie turnout. All right, so last week we talked a lot about using our hips and using our turnout muscles. We're going to try to focus on that stuff again. Um, we're also going to try to add on. So this is all about feet today, working through every tiny little muscle in our feet. So this is a good warm up for that. We're going to lift and pop the whole thing turned out. And lift and pop and lower and down. This is just enough force to get your toes off the ground. You lift to the ankle, lift to the knee, you go down, plie, stretch. Again, other side, you go left and pop and lower and down. And lift and pop and lower and down. And lift and pop and lower and down and touch and touch and down, plie, stretch. From here, we're going to go into a tanu sequence. The tanus go side, just the toes are going to relax to the floor. You're keeping everything engaged through your leg. You're lifting and keeping your heel lifted even then. You go back to a tanu, release just the toes again, back to a tanu, just the toes, back to a tanu, and close. Other side. You go out, just the toes, and out, just the toes, and out, just the toes, and out, and close. This time we're going to do four tanus to the right regular tendus, but using the same muscles through the floor, four, and you go the other side, two, three, four, you're going to go towards the side, using your right arm up and over, towards the left, up and other side, six, seven, and eight. Grab hold of the bar again, you go plie, lift your heels, and arise, and a lower. Reverse it, you go up first, then you bend, staying up on a four start, lower and stretch. Once more, please push over your toes, rise and hold. Now we're going to take your hands off the bar and you're going to balance, have a really, really open chest, really tall and really strong. Then you'll lower and that'll be it. Let's do our warm up all together. Bear with me while I get my music here. Standing, facing towards the bar, feet in parallel. We're going to start. Up. Seems as though my speaker has turned off. One second, everybody. Sorry. Let's hope that it pairs again. Let's take a look. Ready? Parallel, lifting your heel. Lift, pop, lower, down. Lift, pop, lower, once more. And a lift, pop, lower, down. Touch 
your ankle, touch your knee, down, plie stretch, other side, lift, lower, down, lift, pop, lower, again, once more, up, lower, down, touch your ankle, touch your knee, down, plie, turn out, again, right, to plies. Now plies, we're going to start with our left hand on the bar and our arms are going to be in brava or preparatory position. Our feet are going to be in first position. We're going to breathe five and six and seven and eight. We're going to plie crossing over. So our arm is going to come right in front of us, right across from our belly button and we're going to make sure that we have a nice supported first here. Cross and open. This one is going to reach up and then élange V and lower. We're going to grand plié five, down six, coming up seven and eight. Forward bend, we're going to go up and over so we have a nice long waist. Two, roll through the spine, three and a four, rising five, Reaching six, lower heels, tandu, keep your arm in second. All right, again, in second we go cross and stretch and reach and stretch. Grand plie all the way and the seven and eight. Towards the bar, same as we did in the warm up. Keep your shoulder down, make sure you have space between your ear and your elbow. You're going to curve up and over towards the bar. Two, three, four, little rise with an élange V, six, tendu seven, rond to four. This is different. This is a different pattern. We go plie, stretch, plie, stretch. So that's the same. We go plie with the inside arm, stretch, plie élange with the inside arm, stretch. We go from here. We're going to go away from the bar, up and over. Two, gathering three, four, same with the arm, little élange, six, lower, seven, closing fifth. Once more, this is the same as first and second, grand plié, and seven, and eight. From here, we're going to bring our arm up to fifth on o. We're going to take this tiny little back bend that we talked about last week, where it's really just your sternum lifting and you're creating an upward curve rather than a backward hinge, okay? Upward curve into this back bend. We go from fifth on o, lift up and over, coming back. We're going to rise here, élange, hold, 
hold, hold, hold, hold, hold, hold, and lower. All right, let's give this a go. This is plie, starting in first position. Arm down, and we prepare the arm to second. begin from first, but then we're going to go into either third or fifth partway through. All right, so it's going to start in first position with the um, feet. Our arms are in raba. We're going to breathe five, six, arm to second, seven, eight. We go front. This is the same as what we did in our warm up. We're going to just lower the toe, go back to a full tandu, close, two more tandus, six, this is where we're really focusing on 
that same movement that we just did by releasing the toes. We go out again to the side, lower just the toes, and up, and close, and side. Once more, to the side, to the back. We do this whole thing on quad, back. Lower just the toes. Now this is a tricky one. As we're going to the back, we don't want to release all of our toes and end up in a lovely sickle like so. We want to release just the big toe so we still end up having a really nice line all the way through the foot. So we go up, release, and back, and close. Once more, back, and close, and back, and close. Again to the side, side, just release, and up, and close, and side, and close, and side. This is where we close to either fifth or third whatever you'd like. I'm going to show from fifth. We repeat the whole thing again once more. We go front, lower, and up, and close, and front, and close, and front, and close to the side, side, lower the toe, and up, changing back, side, changing front, side, changing back. Same thing applies here. We're crossing our legs and we're just releasing the big toe, and up, and close, and back, and close, and back, and close, once more to the side, and lower, and up, crossing front, side, crossing back, side, crossing front. That's it for our tandu from first and from fifth, all right? So we're going to try this now with the music. Again, really focusing on going through every part of your toes, every part of your foot. Ready? From first. Arms to second, front, lower the toes, and stretch, and close, again, full tendu, full tendu, to the side now, side, lower, up, back to first, side, lower, to the back, back, just the big toes, keep it nice and strong, back, close, back, to the side, today, um, we have to think about candy cane legs. <laughs> so if you were with me before, you'll know what I'm talking about. Candy canes are spiraling constantly with the beautiful little red spiral going up the candy cane. So each of our legs is a candy cane and we're going to be spiraling outwards with one candy cane, 
spiraling outwards with the other. So in off position, our candy canes are spiraling as if they're twisting outwards, all right? So focus on that as we're doing our tendus, all right? Okay, we're going to move on to dégagés now. Dégagés or jetés. We're going to start this from fifth position. I'm gonna show from this side. Fifth or third, I should say. We're going to go five, six, a seven, a eight, and one, and two, and three, and four. This is a different rhythm. So we're going in, out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. From here, we're going to scoop up to a coup de pied. This scoop is again using all of those muscles, scoop up, hold, and switch, lower back. So that hold is in the front. The switch is a very quick change from this front coup de pied to a back coup de pied. And when you're in the back, the same thing that I showed when we're in our tendus, we're not going to sickle our foot downwards. We're going to keep it out and um, winged a little bit, nice and aligned. So the same thing, if we're here in our front coup de pied nicely aligned, we're not going to switch to a sickle in the back. We need to keep our heels attached to our calves. Good? Okay, let's go over that again. We go five and a six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four. Scoop, and switch, and lower. Reverse, back, two, three, four. Scoop, and switch, lower, to the side. Two, three, four. Scoop, and switch, and lower. Here we change our accent. So we've been going in, now we go out, close. One to the side, close. Front, plie. We're going to soutenu, I'm going to run over to my other bar and stand. So you do either a detourne and finish with your back to me or whatever you'd like. But I'm going to soutenu and go to the other side. We're going to repeat the whole thing. The pattern once more is and one, and two, and three, and four. Four décaché to the front. Scooping up to a coup de pied, six, switching, seven, lower eight. Again to the back. And one, and two, and three, and four. Scooping up, six, switch, lower. And to the side, two, three, and four. Scooping, six, switch, lower. One, two, three, four, five. Plie, soutenu, detourne, other side. All right, let's give this a try. This is our dégagé or jeté. You can keep our arms in second all the way through if you'd like. Starting with your left foot on the bar. Arm to second. And one, and two, and three, and four. Scoop, switch. exercises right now really so we can focus on our feet really tricky okay now we're going to move on to a little um, dégagé or sorry glissé exercise glissé is faster glissé is nice and lengthened outwards so we're not shortening our legs we need to be nice and long through our legs all right our glissés are going to be in first position facing the bar 
We're going to um, have our hands on the bar. I, again, we'll show you with that one. We're going to start with our right leg. We go five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, other side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Now this is where we're going to change our rhythm again. Go straight up to the passe, lower, straight up, lower. We're going to do the whole thing again, starting with the left leg. So the pattern is eight glisses on our left leg. Then directly into eight glisses with our right leg. Directly into four with our left, four with our right, two with the left, two with the right, scoop up to a passe, down, scoop up and down. The same scoop that we did earlier applies now. We're doing the same scoop that we did in our curupe. We just go all the way up our legs. And this is again where our rotating legs can really, really help. And of course, the pressure of the toes coming off the floor lift up into a passe. Okay? So let's do these glisse. It's a little bit speedy. You've got this. Right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other side. Four. Two, three, four, four again. Two, three, four, two. And two. Scoop passe. Scoop passe. Left leg. Now one. We have some beautiful piano renditions of some Frozen from both of the movies. It's a lot of fun. Keep in tune with the music. Keep listening. Oftentimes, if you mess something up, you can find where you are again in the music. It's really helpful. Okay. We're going to do a rond de jambe. Rond de jambe, again, means circle of the leg. So we're thinking about our opposition, our candy cane legs. And we're also thinking about pushing down and using every little part of our foot, okay? We're going to start this from a fifth position or a third position. Here, I'll show this side. <laughs> You're going to breathe five and six, arm to second and eight. We tendu fondu devant and close. Tendu fondu to this side, so that means straight on our tendu leg, bent on our supporting leg, okay? Side, stretching back up to the close to the fifth. We go back, tandu fondu again, really using all of our upper muscles so we can have as much support as possible. Six, side again, seven, and eight. We go one, and two, and three. Close, we do a plie, six, seven, Repeat to the back. We reverse everything. Tandu fondu back, stretching up. Tandu fondu side, stretching up. Tandu fondu front, stretching up. It's on fall, so we go again, side and up. We go back, side, front, back, side, front, back, side, front. Close, plie six, and a seven, and eight. From here, I believe that's it. Let me check my notes. Um, <laughs> oh no, sorry everybody. We're going to do a rond de jambe and a fondue together. So we finish to the front. We go fondue into a coup de pied and a stretch. Fondue into a back coup de pied and stretch. Again to the front. Fondue front and stretch to a fifth and fondue back and stretch to a fifth. We go fondue again to the front. This time we're going to stay on the supporting leg with the coup de pied and our working leg. Fondue, stretch, fondue, and stretch. If you'd like, you can go up on the rise, test your balance, and that's it. All right, everybody, how's that feeling? 
The pattern is Fondue Tandu to the front, to the side, to the back, to the side. Then three round de jambes, two, three, plie, prepare to go on de dam, on de or, out the door, on de dam, around the front, okay? You're going to go back and stretch, side, stretch, front, stretch, side, stretch, back, on de dam, back, side, front, back, side, front, plie, and stretch, fondue. Straighten both legs. Fondue, both legs. This is the same as what we were doing earlier, scooping our toes. And up, and scoop, and up. We go fondue, and supporting leg is strong. Fondue, same strong supporting leg. Fondue, last one if you'd like, you can rise, or you can stay on flat, that's fine. Test your balance, hold your arms nice and strong. All right, let's give this a go with the music. This is Ronde de Jambe and Fondue together. Let's give it a try. From fifth, arm to second. Fondue, tendu, de la, la, to the side, close to fifth. To the back, front, side, back, and a front, side, back, plie. Re compare the arm. We're going to go to the back again. Stretch. Fondu, tondu, side, stretch. Using all of those little muscles through the foot. Side, stretch to the back. combination exercise as well. We're going to do développé and grand battement and 
uh, passes all together. All right, so we're going to start with a coup de pied. Bum, fit, five, six, seven, eight. We go coup de pied, passe up, and a lower, and down. Good. Then we go a full double pay to 90 degrees, tendu, and down. We tendu, devant, lower, and down, plie, six, seven, eight. Again, side, lift, lower, down. Full double pay, six, seven, eight. We're gonna close in front, we're not going to change here. We go tendu, lift, tendu, lower, plie with a breathe, seven, eight. Again, coup de pied, lifting back, back to coup de pied, and lower, double pied, six, tendu, and down, tendu, lift, tendu, down, plie, six, seven, eight, again, side, lift, three, four, double pay, six, seven, closing back, we're not going to change here, tendu, lift, tendu, close, plie, rise, we're going to squeeze together into a fifth position, really tight, detourne, or change to your other side, all right? The pattern again is scooping coup de pied, scooping higher, scoop back to coup de pied, lower, passe, double pied, and tendu, and lower, tendu, lift, tendu, lower, plie, six, seven, eight. Then we repeat side and back, and side once more, plie, soutenu, other side, you're done. All right, let's give this a try. If you'd like to do your coup de pieds and passes on demi point, you absolutely may. That's for some higher level things. I am going to stay on flat today. All right, let's give this a try. Front fifth, arming. Hello, we cut out for a second, we're back. Okay, ready?
facing the bar. From first position, we're going to go plie, stretch, rise, lower. Plie, stretch, rise, lower. Plie, straight up, plie, straight up, plie, straight up, lower. Tendu, second. Again, plie, stretch, a rise, and a lower. This is holding on to the bar. Plie, and up, plie, and up. Three times, tendu, and again. We're going to do the same pattern. Rise, lower, plie, stretch, rise, lower, plie, rise, plie, rise, plie, rise, tendu, with our left leg, lower second. Repeat in second. There, that's it. We're going to do our rises really, really strong through our rotating legs. Feel like they're a little rockets. You know those jetpacks? If you've ever seen a spy movie, they always have jetpacks attached to their backs so they can launch anywhere. Our jetpacks are right under our bums and we're going to launch upwards, okay? So we're gonna use our legs as much as we can along with our candy canes and along with pushing through all those muscles that we've been working on in our feet. All right, let's do it. Front first, facing the bar, hands on the bar. Plie, stretch, rise, lower. Plie, stretch, rise, lower. Plie, and up, plie, and up. Plie, and up. Tommy, lower, down. in your living rooms if you need to. We're going to do our um, same exercise in the center. All right. We're going to do the same. This time, our hands are in our waist, okay? We're not going to do anything crazy with the arms. This is really just to focus on our legs, all right? We do plie, stretch, rise, lower, plie, stretch, rise, lower, plie, Straight up, plie, straight up, plie, straight up, tendu, lower side. The whole thing again. Now, tendus and plies are essentially the building blocks of ballet. Every single movement that we do later on in ballet class begins with plie on and tendu. And so here, we're really, really using our plies and our tendus. Tendu means to stretch. Plie means to fold. We're folding our legs to stretch as hard and fast as we can, all right? So, with that in mind, this is basically leading to jumps. We're not going to leave the floor, we're gonna stay on a releve, but let's try to use the same kind of energy that you would use in a jump, all right? Let's give this a go. Same music, same thing. Hands on our waist. Starting at first. Plie, stretch, rise, lower. Plie, stretch, rise, lower. Plie, straight up. Plie, straight up. Plie, straight up. Tendu lower to the side. Second, stretch, rise, lower. Plie, stretch. Use those legs all the way through the bump and the spiraling legs. Once more, again, plie, 
right, everyone. So that's our preparation for jumping. Now we're going to do um, another tendu. And this tendu is really to get us on our legs. We've been lucky we've had the bar, but now we're going to do everything without the bar. So this tendu is the same thing that we did at the bar, but this time we're going to go from quasi to en face, to the other quasi, to the other en face, to close. All right, that's our pattern. We're going to start with our feet in fifth position or third position. Our right foot is front and our arm in preparatory position. Breathing five, six, seven, eight. Full front, lower the tendu, the same thing we did. Stretch, close, two faster, six, seven, eight. To the side, we change on fast. Our bodies are going to change. We're still on our supporting leg. We're not pushed over. Nice and strong on our supporting leg. Side, lower the tendu, stretch, changing back, side, changing front, side, changing back. Other side, front, lower the toes, stretch, close, front, close, front, close. To the side again, supporting leg, lower just the toes, up, crossing back, side, crossing front, side, you're done. That's it. Let's give it a try, really strong on your supporting leg, and think of those toes. Give it a go. Ready? Front, lower the toe, front, close, back in. Once more, on fast, side, lower, stretch, crossing, side, crossing front, side, to the back, to the front, close. So this is to prepare for pirouettes, all right? So pirouettes come from um, really, really strong fifth position, a really strong base, wherever you're going to take off from, you're either in your fourth or your fifth. We need the same plie and the same launch through the, the feet, the same scoops that we've been practicing at the bar in these passes in the center, okay? so. We're going to again start quasi, tendu with our right foot from fifth. Five, six, seven, eight. Front, lifting just off the floor, tendu, close. Passe scoop, lower, passe scoop, lower, change on fast. Side, lifting, side, all of it closes to the front, lower, except this one changes, all right? Front, Lifting the toes, touching down, lower, scoop to passe, lower, scoop to passe, change to the side, lifting, I'm kicking things, let's not do, close to the front again, scoop, and scoop, and lower. That's it. Super simple. Just front, side, front, side, finish, but really, again, stay over your supporting leg as strong as you can. Let's try this out. Preparation for pirouettes with our scooping passes and a nice strong grand baton. All right. Exercise. And our port de bras, I want you to think about 
feeling kind of free with your movement. So I'm going to give you the first part of the port de bras. Port de bras means carriage of the arm. So I'm going to give you the first part and that part is set. After that, I'd like to see if you can make up your own little ending. So you can do a little curtsy. If your parents or sisters or anyone is watching, you can curtsy. I might curtsy to my cat. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a little moment of free movement. This is really important to be able to feel creative right now. We're all kind of stuck at home, but there's so many things that we can do to stay creative and stay inspired and excited um, about dancing, because it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. All right, so we're gonna do a port de bras. Starting, why don't we start actually just with our feet in first position. Straight on fast, facing the front. Relaxed arms. We're going to lift one arm up to a fifth on out. And an open elange, lower down. Other side. First to fifth, elange, and lower. Both of them together. First to fifth, elange, swan arms. Six, reaching seven and eight. We're going to bring our arms through first. This is where you can start doing whatever you'd like. I'm going to reach towards the camera and then step back and do a nice big bow. Whatever you'd like, a big curtsy so you can feel free and creative. All right, it's really nice music. Try to listen. Really use every note as much as you can and just have fun with it. Feel free in your kitchens. <laughs> it's the best place to dance, I find. Let's give this a try. First position. Relaxed arm. lovely music. It's so nice. All right, everybody. That completes our class for today. I'm going to turn the comments on again. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer. Also, um, you can tag um, hashtag Hannah Mae's Ballet Class and you can tag Canada's Ballet Jorgen or you can tag me at Hannah Mae Crudis. Um, thank you all so much for taking this class. I'm really, really glad that we can all work together to stay inspired and stay um, exciting <laughs> and excited during this tricky time. Um, yeah, I'll be around. If you have any questions for me, you can absolutely reach out to me as well on my Instagram or through Canada's Ballet Organ as well. Oh, we have a question. Can I see your cat? Let's see. That's from Kaya in Vancouver. Hi, Tether. Oh, he's sleeping. Here, I'll bring his... His favorite little box is a bed. Here, <laughs> there he is. I don't want to disturb him, but there he is. He's super cute. He loves sleeping in cardboard boxes for some reason. <laughs> Thank you guys. Oh, I'm so, so glad you could all join. Um, what is my favorite dance? Hmm, I love, so, there are a couple things. So I, I love the step balance. Balance and padasha are some of my favorite steps. I learned them super early and I love them a lot. Yeah, isn't he cute? Oh my gosh. Hey buddy. 
Um, and then also one of my favorite dances, it depends on the music, it depends on the um, choreography, but I really love dancing Anne of Green Gables. It's one of my favorite things to do. I really love that character. Ah, oh, do I have a real pianist from um, Micah in Ottawa? Hi! Um, I don't, if only. Um, so right now in my house, I don't have a real pianist. My sister can play the piano. She's very talented, but um, I'm using recorded music. So I've used a combination of David Plumpton um, and what's the other fellow? Um, I'm not sure. Something Harmon, I think. Christopher Harmon. Um, so yeah, I have one pet. I will be back on um, Thursday as well. I'll be here the same time, 1.30, um, and we're going to try to get our live videos posted up on our YouTube as well. Um, so yeah, if you guys miss this class, you can absolutely tune in later on our um, YouTube. Yeah. Thank you all so, so much. It's been a pleasure to teach you today. Join me again on Thursday at 1.30 um, Eastern Daylight Time. I'm in Nova Scotia, so it's 2.30. Um, and Hiroto is teaching on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So those classes are at 11 a.m. Um, Eastern Daylight Time. Lots of fun as well. I love his classes. So yeah, um, thank you all so much. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay home, stay safe, and um, yeah, stay inspired. Try to do something today that excites you, inspires you. Okay, bye.